Hello students. So this is the continued part of logarithmic differentiation. Uh, so already we discussed what is the logarithmic differentiation and uh, example based on logarithmic differentiation. Is clear right? So students, this is also an example on exercise 5.5. Uh, so uh, we solve this example. Is clear that? So already I told that this is function raised to function form plus this is also function raised to function form. But it has two terms. That's why we take separate one by one terms and apply logarithmic differentiation. Then combine both, we'll get the dy by dx. Is clear that? So procedure should be same, not a problem. Okay. So first of all, let us I can take this example. Let y equal to this function can be x cos x, x cos x raised to x plus x into sin x is raised to one by x. Sin x is raised to one divided by x. Is clear that? So I can take y is equal to this function can be considered as u plus p. Y is equal to what is that? U plus p. Okay. Uh, then what we have to find that? Then we find it dy by dx. We find it dy by dx is equal to what we have to find that? Du by dx plus dv by dx. Dv by dx. Say this is equation number one. So we find dy by dx. Then we we should find du by dx and dv by dx. So let us take u is equal to this function x cos x raised to x, and we find du by dx by applying logarithmic differentiation, and we can take p is equal to x raised to sin x. It's raised to one by x. Then we find dv by dx. Then combine both du by dx and dv by dx. Then we'll get dy by dx. Is clear that? So first of all, let us consider. Uh, let us consider. We can take u is equal to. What is the function u is equal to? U is equal to this function. That is. Uh, x cos x, x cos x raised to uh, x is x cos x raised to x. So obviously uh, this is uh, function raised to function form. Then we will apply logarithmic differentiation. Then apply log on both side. We will get apply log on both side. Apply log on both side. Apply log on both side. We will get so here log u is equal to in this function. So log of x cos x, log of x cos x is to x is. So this is the form log of m raised to n. Already we know that and the log of m raised to n can be written as n log m. So that is we will write as uh, log u is equal to x into log of x cos x. X into log of x uh, cos x. X into log of x cos x. This is the form. Log of m raised to n can be as n log m. Is clear that? Then uh, log u keep as it is. So here x same as it is. This is the form. Log of m into n. So log of multiplication term can be written as log m plus log m. That is log x plus log of cos x. Log x plus log of cos x. Log x plus log of cos x. Clear that? So x is as it is log of m into n term. So log of multiplication term can be written as log m plus log n. Is clear that? So this is uh, x should be multiplication term. Then uh, another term I can write as log u is equal to x into log x one term plus x into log of cos x another term. Log of cos x another term is because x multiplication to this term will get x into log x one term. And x into log of cos x term. Okay, so log u. This is of the form u into v. So already we have considered that. This is of the form u into v. Then we apply directly derivative. We get okay. Uh, or apply or differentiate. Differentiate we get. Differentiate we get. So derivative of log u should be so one by u into du by dx is equal to so x log x x into derivative of log x is 1 divided by x plus this is u into p form x into derivative of log x is 1 by x and second function t log x as this log x as as this then derivative of x should be 1 derivative of x is 1 is clear that so like that same uh, plus and second function we can also same first function t as this x then derivative of this form log x derivative of 
log x. We will call log x can be written as 1 divided by x. Instead of x, what is there? Cos x. Then again, differentiate cos x. So, the derivative of log x is 1 divided by cos x with respect to cos x is minus sin x. With respect to cos x is, this is minus sin x. Clear that? So, x keep as it is. Then, derivative of log x. 1 divided by x. Instead of x, what is there? Cos x. Then the derivative of cos x is again depends with this function minus sin x. Is there that? Uh, plus uh, log of cos x as it is. Log of cos x function keep as it is. Then derivative of second function is 1. Derivative of second function is 1. Is there that? Then you can find du by dx is equal to uh, x x get cancelled. So u multiplication to this term will get u in the bracket xx get cancelled this is 1 plus log x 1 plus log x plus so this is minus because uh, minus x into tan x x into tan x it is because minus into plus become minus sin x plus cos x is tan x and x keep as this okay and the last term is plus log x plus log of cos x plus log of that. Then, lastly, du by d is equal to u. What is the value of u? What is u? u is equal to uh, x cos x, x cos x raised to x, x cos x raised to x is your u in the bracket. This function is same as that is 1 plus log x minus x tan x minus x tan x plus log of cos x plus log of cos x. Is there that? So this is du by dx. This way we will find the value of du by dx and let us take and let us take uh, p is equal to what is the function b equal to x sin x raised to 1 by x plus. Instead of x what is there? 1 by x. So same apply log on both sides we will get so direct I can write uh, log p is equal to log of x sin x x sin x raised to 1 by x is x sin x raised to 1 by x is then uh, keep log p as it is log p as it is then this is the form log of m raised to n this can be written as 1 by x into log of x sin x log of x into sin x so log of m raised to n can be written as n log m is is clear that then again keep log p as it is Keep log p as it is, then uh, write 1 by x as it is. So, this is of the form log of m into n, as it is same, uh, same form in previous, that is uh, m into n. Log of m into n can be written as log x plus log of sin x. Log x plus log of sin x. So, that the next step we will write the simplification uh, 1 by x multiplication, this term will become 1 by x into log x. So, that and uh, plus 1 by x into log of sin x log of sin x is clear that so this is simplification part okay then we have the end so differentiate this function differentiate we get so derivative of log b is 1 by b into dv by dx d that it is then this of the form u into b first function second function first function p as it is 1 by x then derivative of log x is also 1 divided by x plus second function keep log x as it is okay, derivative of 1 by x is minus 1 divided by x is there that so first function 1 by x keep as it is then derivative of log x is 1 divided by x plus second function log x keep as it is then derivative of first function what is the first function 1 by x so derivative of 1 by x is minus 1 by x is there that and in this term plus here also same 1 by x keep as this then the derivative of second function derivative of log of x part of this derivative of log x is 1 divided by x is 1 divided by sin x with respect to sin x is cos x with respect to sin x is cos x because this is a derivative of composition function so log x is 1 divided by x instead of x what is that sin x then differentiate this function derivative of sin x is cos x so that and second function as it is, what is your second function? Log of sin x, second function keep as it is, then derivative of first function, what is derivative of 1 by x? Same minus 1 divided by x. 
minus 1 divided by square t is clear right this is derivative of the this step okay then dv by dx is equal to dv by dx is equal to p in the bracket you can write p in the bracket you can write this is 1 by x square this is 1 divided by x square this is minus 1 divided by x square into log x this is 1 1 by x is 1 by x is 1 by x square this is plus and minus is minus 1 by x square into log x so this is plus 1 by x into this is cot x because cos x plus sin x is cot x and the next is uh, plus so this is minus this is also minus minus 1 divided by x square into log of sin x log of sin x is clear right simplification so, job so here for the value of p and this is this is also 1 by x square form this is also 1 by x square so this is 1 by x is there this is 1 by x square so so x square is a uh, take x square as a LCD. so then multiplication by here x is clear right or keep as it is not a problem 1 by x square minus so multiplication this term to uh, x is the same so we can ok not a problem keep as this so here uh, I can write uh, some space problem. This is very big example. Uh, dv by dx is equal to dv by dx is equal to p. What is the p? p we can write as x sin x. x sin x is to 1 by x in the bracket. 1 by x in the bracket. This is 1 by x square. So this is the 1 by x square term is x square is LCM. Then here multiply by x so take x square as a uh, x square as a uh, whole term by x square then this should, uh, this should be written as so here x square x square x square as a lcm this is x not a problem so here we will multiply by x here we will multiply by x and then this term become 1 uh, minus log x 1 minus log x here x into quad x because here x is there then we multiply by uh, x that is x into x is x square so x cot x plus x cot x plus x cot x and the last term is minus log of sin x uh, where I can write uh, so here uh, this should be written as so small a so here x square as a LCM, then we can write 1 as it is. So here also not a problem. Minus log x. Minus log x. Here we can write multiply by x. Let's say we get plus x cot x. Plus x cot x. And last up minus log of sin x. Log of sin x. Okay. So space is uh, some space problem. I can write. Okay, so this is the dv by dx. So in last step, what do I do that? So take x square as a LCM. Then we will get this. Step. Okay, uh, then equation 1 implies that. Then equation 1 implies that we find dv dy by dx. dy by dx is equal to du by dx plus dv by dx. So what is du by dx? Uh, so here, this is the dv by dx. This is x cos x x cos x raised to x in the bracket you can write uh, 1 plus log x 1 plus log x minus x tan x minus x tan x plus log of cos x plus log of cos x this is du by dx plus plus we can let dv by dx what is dv by dx x sin x raised to 1 by x in the bracket we can write 1 minus log x plus x cot x minus log of sin x minus log of sin x whole divided by x square whole divided by x square so this is the dy by dx square not a problem same as it is keep same procedure you can take u b so first of all you can take u then apply logarithmic differentiation so we will get this uh, term and I take p as x raised to sin x raised to 1 by x then apply logarithmic equation we will get dv by dx 
then combine both du by dx and du by dx. So we will get d by by dx. Okay. Uh, so make note of this example. If you have any doubt, then ask. Okay. Write down this example. So students, here yeah, you can find d by by dx of the following function. Okay. So already I solve. Uh, this type of example here x is to y plus y is to x plus x is to x one example is that i can solve is equal to a is to b same example it is x is to y plus y is to x is equal to 1 so uh, this example is also yours try yourself because very easy example you can take u as a x is to y p as a y is to x then we will find d u by dx and d u uh, d u by dx and combine both then we will find d u by dx Okay, so uh, this is also very easy. So this is equal to examples are there. This thirteen, fourteen, fifteen examples are so function is to function is equal to function is to function. So in previous example what are there? So function is to function, add function is to function. So sum of uh, two terms, three terms are there like that term. X is to y plus y is to x equal to one like that. Okay, so but here thirteen, fourteen, fifteen examples are so this is function is to function is equal to function are. Is clear that this is very easy example. I can solve fourteenth example. Then you definitely solve thirteenth example. Okay, that's why so thirteenth example is also your one. Is clear? I can solve fourteenth one. So then thirteenth one is easily easy. Okay, so fourteenth one you see that. Okay, so fourteenth one example. Uh, I can solve fourteenth one. What is that? Let us consider the function is cos x x raised to y. Is equal to cos y raised to x. Cos y raised to x is. See that? Cos x cos x raised to y is equal to cos y raised to x. So obviously this is function raised to function is equal to function raised to function. So then equal to terms are there. Then what we are going to find here dy by dx. Then we will apply logarithmic on both sides. We will get answer directly. See that? This is uh, one different procedure. That is uh, apply log on both sides. So apply. Log on both side. Apply log on both side. We get here log of cos x. It's raised to y is equal to log of cos y is raised to x. So apply log on both side. Apply logarithmic expression on both side. We get a log of cos x raised to y is equal to log of cos y raised to x. So obviously this is from log of m raised to n is equal to log of m. So we can simplification this term. Log of the average will be as y into log of cos x. Y into log of cos x is equal to this is also same log of the average will be n that is x into log cos y. X into log cos y. Or x into log cos y. Is clear that? Very simple it is. So this is first of all we can take the given relation. Then this is also function is to function. Function is to function part. Then we will apply logarithmic on both sides. We will get log of this term, log of this term. Then again, we will simplify. We will get the log of the average period form it is m log m, m log m. Okay, the simplification form then. Uh, what is that? Next part, what? What are we going to do that? So differentiate this function. We will get differentiate. We will get. So here also this is first function. This is second function. So first function y keep as this. Then derivative of log x form is derivative of log x is one divided by x. That is one divided by cos x. With respect to derivative of cos x is minus sin x. Minus sin x. Is clear that one by x. So derivative of log x form is derivative of log x is one divided by x. So now that is cos x. Then derivative of cos x is minus sin x. And second function keep as this. What is your second function? Log of cos x is second function. Okay. Then log of cos x is second function. Then uh, derivative of cos function, derivative of y is dy by dx. Derivative of y is dy by dx is equal to. So left hand side is one, and right hand side is also this is first function. This is second function. So first function keep as this. Then derivative of log of cos y. What is that? One divided by cos y with respect to derivative of cos y is minus sin y. With respect to y is dy by dx. This is chain two steps. So that cos function x is as this derivative of log of cos y is term. 
So the function of y it is when we differentiate the function of y, then we can write dy by dx as a multiplication term. Already we know that here log of x. There will be log log x is one divided by x. X is cos y. So one divided by cos y. With respect to uh, in, in, instead of x, what is there? Cos y. The derivative of cos y is minus sin y. When we differentiate the function of y, then we can write dy by dx. Is clear then? Okay. Then uh, keep second function as what is your second function? Log of cos y. Log of cos y keep as it is. Then derivative of x is one. Derivative of x is one. Is clear that? Then uh, uh, again we will uh, solve one step. This is minus r minus y into tan x. It is clear that because sin x divided by cos x is tan x. So plus this is log of cos x into dy by dx. Okay. Then that is equal to uh, this is also minus uh, x into tan y into dy by dx into dy by dx plus log of cos y as this. Log of cos y as this. Okay. So, so this is minus the then sin y by cos y is Okay, so the next step what we are going to do that? So take dy by dx term one side and another term one side. Is clear that? So dy by dx terms are, so what is that? This is dy by dx term. So log of cos 6, this is dy by dx term. And minus this term shifted to right hand side, it will become plus. So I can write directly x into tan y. x into tan y. So both term have been dy by dx. dy by dx. Is clear that? Because this is log of cos x into dy by dx, so minus will shift to left hand side, it will become also plus x into tan y. So both terms having dy by dx, then dy by dx is a common. Then remaining term one side that is log of cos y already there. Then this minus term given as this is plus, it will become plus y into tan x. Y into tan x. So that, then dy by dx. Then dy by dx is equal to uh, log of cos y plus y into tan x term as this. So whole divided by this term. Now what is that? Log of cos x, log of cos x plus x into tan x into tan. So this is dy by dx term. It's clear that this is dy by dx term. So students, same 14th example you can solve on this method, same you can solve. 13th example. So apply log on both sides, we will get some term. So solve the LHS uh, left hand side as well as right hand side. Is clear that? This is 14th example and very easy example. It is students, right hand side. Okay? Friends, next we solve uh, 15th example that is 15th one. Let us consider x into y equal to e raised to x minus 1. So e raised to x minus 1. So I can prove that already. So this is exponential function e raised to x minus 1. Okay. What I will do that? So this exponential function shifted to left hand side. It will become logarithmic function. Directly to that. What is that? Log of x into y is equal to x minus y theta as it is. Because so if this exponential function shifted to left hand side, it will become so 1 by e. 1 by e is inverse of this function. That is <laughs> log of x into y. Okay? Or else, otherwise you can write this step. So, uh, so only this step. x into y equal to e raised to x minus y. Apply log on both sides. Log of x into y equal to log of e raised to x minus y. So log of x into y can be written as log x plus log y. Here, this is the form log of m raised to m. So x minus y into so log e as it is. Okay. This is log of uh, x plus log y. Or else uh, don't write this is log x plus log y. So keep as it is. Okay. So log of x into y. Log of x into y. Here log of x into y is equal to x minus y as it is. Then the value of log e should be 1. Remember that. What is that? The value of log e to the base e is 1. Is clear that? So, or else we can apply logarithmic on both sides, then we will solve. Same as it is log of x, x into y equal to x minus 1. Or else you can write this is exponential function, 
this exponential function is shifted to left hand side it will become exponential become become logarithmic function that is law of x into y so keep x in so as this is clear right? then solve the easy example is it's a log of m and p and form you can write log x plus log y is equal to x minus y then differentiate this function differentiate we get so derivative of log x is 1 by x on a problem plus derivative of log y is 1 by y with respect to dy by dx because we differentiate the function of y then we can write dy by dx derivative of log y is 1 by y into dy by dx is equal to right hand side derivative of x is 1 minus derivative of y is dy by dx is clear that so dy by dx on one side so this is 1 by y into dy by dx so here uh, uh, we can take plus dy by dx plus dy by dx is equal to 1 minus 1 divided by x clear that so here both term have dy by dx i can take common so then 1 by y plus 1 into dy by dx into dy by dx is equal to again uh, or else not so 1 minus 1 by x then dy by dx is equal to we can write 1 minus 1 by x so whole divided by 1 plus 1 by y then what we have to do that here take lcm that is um, what is that this is the lcm that is uh, x minus 1 divided by x here y plus 1 divided by y or else we can write dy by dx equal to y in the bracket x minus 1 whole divided by uh, x in the bracket y plus 1 this is dy by dx so y here affected to so uh, reciprocal will get y in the bracket x minus 1 and x in the bracket y plus 1 is clear this is the value of dy by dx this is clear that friends correct in this example okay So it's a, it's a, in this example, find the derivative of the function f of x equal to 1 plus x into 1 plus x square into 1 plus x into 4 into 1 plus x plus x. Find the derivative of this term and hence find f dash of 1. Is nothing but first we find the f dash of x. Like then y. So y is equal to the complex. Then we will find derivative of x. Okay. So this is very easy example friends. I can take uh, let f of x is equal to what is the term 1 plus x into 1 plus x square into 1 plus x raised to 4 into 1 plus x raised to a so this is function having 1 2 3 4 term so more than uh, uh, function raised to function or more than two functions then we will apply logarithmic equation here 1 2 3 4 there are four terms are there then we will apply logarithmic equation so log of f of x instead of what is there log of x so what are the as it is so log of this whole function uh, or else so I can directly write so uh, you can write apply log on both sides no, no. apply log on both sides log on both sides then log of f of x is equal to uh, log of this is uh, in the bracket 1 plus x 1 plus x square 1 plus x raised to 4 and 1 plus x raised to 8 is clear that so log of f of x as it is this is not a problem so here this is the term log of m into m into l into m. so log of multiplication term then you know, can write log of multiplication term you can write log of plus terms ok that is log of 1 plus x plus log of 1 plus x square plus log of 1 plus x raised to 4 plus log of 1 plus x raised to 8 very simple log of multiplication term given as log of plus log of m plus log of n plus log of l like that ok then this is simply a simplification form then difference here difference here we get Differentiate with respect to x, not a problem. Differentiate with respect to x. So this is uh, log y. I can f of x should be y. Derivative of log y is 1 by y into dy. Like that, derivative of 
log of the form x is 1 divided by the form x with respect to the form x is the application of this. This is understood the step. So, f of x can be written as I can take y log 1. Derivative of log y is 1 by y with respect to dy by x. Like that. Derivative of log of uh, y should be f of x. Derivative of the log of f of x is 1 divided by f of x. Then instead of derivative of this function should be f of x. Derivative of f of x is f of x. Same y, y, dy by x. 1 by y, 1 by y with respect to dy by x. Like let's say. Okay, so 1 by f of x is equal to so log of x one is 1 divided by 1 plus x. With respect to derivative of x is 1 out of the problem. Plus this is also log of 1 divided by 1 plus x squared. With respect to derivative of this term, 2x. Plus next term, you can write uh, 1 divided by 1 plus x raised to 4. With respect to x raised to 4 is 4x cube. Okay? Then plus again this is also 1 divided by 1 plus x raised to 8 with respect to x raised to 8 is 8x raised to 7. Derivative of this term. Is it clear that? Then f dash of x is equal to, uh, we can write f of x in the bracket. f of x uh, in the bracket, 1 divided by 1 plus x in order for them, plus 2x divided by 1 plus x square plus 4x cube divided by 1 plus x raised to 4 plus 8x raised to 7 divided by 1 plus x raised to 8. Okay, then for the value of this one, the dash of x is equal to what is your f of x? f of x should be 1 plus x, 1 plus x square, 1 plus x raised to 4, 1 plus x raised to 8. This is your f of x in the right. Keep this all terms as this. What is that? 1 divided by 1 plus x plus uh, 2x divided by 1 plus x square plus 4x cube divided by 1 plus x raised to 4 plus 8x raised to 7 divided by 1 plus x raised to 8. This is d by uh, this is the upper of x derivative of this term. The next one we will give you that put x equal to 1. Put x equal to 1, then we find f dash of 1. Instead of x, we can put 1, that is f dash of 1. f dash of 1 is equal to, so instead of x, we will put the value of 1, that is 1 plus 1, 1 plus x square is 1 plus 1 square, 1 plus 1 raised to 4, 1 plus 1 raised to 8. In the bracket, same remaining. Uh, 1 by 1 plus x, 1 divided by 1 plus 1 plus 2 into 1 divided by 1 plus 1 square is what a column. Okay. Plus next to 4 into 1 cube divided by that is also 1 plus 1 raised to 4. And next 8 into uh, 1 raised to 7 whole divided by this is 1 plus 1 raised to 1 plus 1 raised to 8. Instead of x, we will put x equal to term. Okay? Then f dash of 1 is equal to here. 1 plus 1, 1 plus 1, 1 plus 1 is 2 into 2 into 2 into 2 it is. In the bracket, you can write this is 1 divided by 2, 1 by 2 plus 2 by 2 plus 4 by 2 plus 8 divided by 2. Whole term divided by 2. Okay? So, f dash of 1 is equal to 2 into 2 into 2 into 2 is, this is 60. 2 raised to 4 is 16. So, we can take LCM and this term. 2 as the LCM, we can take 2 as the LCM. We can take here, this is uh, 1 plus 2 plus 4 plus 8. Clear? 1 by 2, 2 by 2, 4 by 2, 8 by 2. So, 2 is the LCM. So, then, um, f dash of 1 is equal to 16. So this is uh, 8 plus 4 is 8 plus 2 is 12. This is 50. 15 divided by 2. 2 1s are 2 8s. So 15 8s are 120. So the dash of 1 is equal to 120 is answer. Clear that? This is a very easy example, friends.
but later exam not a problem same keep as it is same procedure uh, find f dash of x then put x equal to 1 that is the f dash of x so f dash of 1 should be 1 to is clear that write in this example okay students the seventeenth example is differentiate x square minus 5x plus k into another term x cube plus 7x plus 9 in the three ways you can follow this example as a three ways first one by using product rule so what is the product rule i can write that this is taken as a first function this is taken as second function u into v first function to derivative of this one second function to derivative of first function so this is by product rule so then by expanding the product to get obtain a single polynomial by expanding this product that means we multiply x square to this term, 5x to this term, a to this term. So by product of this term, we will get one single polynomial. One single polynomial. Then differentiate this single polynomial. Okay? Then by using logarithm implication. Logarithm implication means there are two functions there and apply log on both sides. Log u equal to log m plus log m. Like that. Is clear? Do they all give the same answer? So the all three process, all three ways give the same answer. This is our question. So obviously all three ways give same answer, 100% sure. So we can apply product rule u into v also same polynomial by expanding the product to apply single polynomial having also same answer and by applying logarithmic condition also same answer. So this is your work space. So this is your work. Okay, very simple example is first why we have to do that. So first apply product rule, then we will get one final answer. Then uh, product this two term, then we will get one single polynomial. Then we will differentiate. Okay? Then uh, last apply logarithmic differentiation. Then we will get same answer. Is clear that? So this is your work, not a problem. Very example, very easy example it is. So you can write. Okay? Write down this example. Friends, this is the last example in exercise 5 and 5. So this is theory based example, friends. Uh, so, if u, v and w are functions of x, that means u, v, w are the functions of x, then show that, what we show that, d by dx of u, v, w. Already we know that the multiplication of two term, multiplication of u into v is, so first function u, v as this derivative of v, that is dv by dx, plus v as this dv by dx, this is multiplication of two term, but here multiplication of three terms are there, u into v into w. So this is the formula. First of all, du by dx as this, then p into w plus d by dx and u into w plus d w by dx u into p. So we can show this term. In two ways. The first one is uh, repeated application of product rule. First one is multiplication rule. That is product rule. Repeated application of product rule is nothing but will apply derivative of a proposition function. And second one is by logarithmic differentiation. Very simple example it is. Okay? Again, so first of all, the first method. What is that? The product rule. Okay, product rule. What we do that? So d by dx of. So d by dx of u v w. D by dx of u v w. So I can take uh, u as a one and v into w as a second. This is for the second form. That is equal to derivative of first term u as it is, first term as it is, uh, then uh, this is taken as a first term, this is taken as a second term, first function t as it is, and derivative of this one, derivative of d by dx of p into w, okay, plus second term as it is, what is second term, p into w, second term added as it is, then derivative of u, d by dx of this term, so uh, by using product rule, so this Two functions should be taken as a one and this function. So first function to second function. First function keep as this derivative of second function plus second function keep as this derivative of first function. Like that. Okay? Uh, so that is equal to uh, u into. So here you can write this is also first function, second function. So u v w are functions of x only. So v into d w divided by dx. So first function v here also first and second. First function v keep as it is derivative of w is dw by dx plus second function w keep as this then derivative of this function derivative of u is also derivative of v is dv by dx. 
square x so w value is the derivative of this dy by x plus here what about now p into w value is then d by x of u is this is du by x that's all then we will multiply we will get that is u into p a into d w divided by dx plus u into w into d v by dx plus p into w into d u by dx so this is what this d by dx of u v w clear that the first one is over d w by dx into u into v d w by dx into u into v is clear u into w into d by dx u into w into d by dx so then u p into w into d by dx p into w into d by dx we get for simple this okay then apply another equation the second one by logarithmic by logarithmic by log logarithmic difference okay what is that so i can take y is equal to u p w so apply log on both side apply log on both side will get log y is equal to log of u into v into w u into v into w is clear that then next what we do that so log y t as it is log y t that is this is the form log of m into l into l i can write log u plus log p plus log v then apply it in That's it. Difference is equal. So derivative of log y is one by y into d y by d. Derivative of log u is one by u into d u by d. So derivative of log v is one by u into d v by d. So derivative of log w is one by one by one into d w divided by d. Very simple. Then d y by d is equal to d y by x equal to y in the bracket same term. 1 by u into du by dx plus 1 by v into dv by dx plus 1 by w into dw divided by dx. Put the value of y. So d by dx of what is our y? U v w. Okay, in the bracket u v w. Put the value of y. What is our y? Y should be u v w. U v w in the bracket 1 by u into du divided by dx plus 1 by p into dv by dx plus 1 by w into d w divided by dx okay the last d by dx of u p w is equal to will multiply u p w to this term so first term uh, in first term we multiply u p w so u p w then u u get cancelled the meaning term is P W into D U by D X. Is clear that? So we we'll multiply this two term in this first term. So U and U get cancel only P W into D U by D X. And second term we we'll multiply P and D cancel only U into D U by U into W into D U by D X plus. And the next term we we'll multiply this term to here. W and W get cancel only U into D U by D X. So U into P into D W divided by D X. So this is equation number. So that equation one and equation two is also same. So in the both method for product rule also by logarithmic integration. So we prove that this term. Is clear that friends? The logarithmic differentiation is the very easiest concept. So the more number of examples are there. Another problem, but this is two marks. One fixed question is coming from your in your annual examination. Like that, only one term, not a two terms. Okay, I can told that now. So there are two terms. Some of two terms are there, some of three terms are there, but only one term are coming in your examination. Is clear that? So this is all about logarithmic differentiation, friends. If you have any doubt regarding logarithmic differentiation, then you can ask me. Okay. The next class we will discuss the another concept that is also very important for three marks. That is uh, the deep, uh, parametric differentiation. Is clear that? So write down this all one. Okay. Thank you, friends.